Good morning, everyone. My name is Yongshin Chen from CEE. It is my pleasure to share with you our uh, USDA uh, grant, $5 million. It is not only the largest uh, grant uh, Georgia Tech has received from uh, 19, 1980. And it's also largest uh, grant USDA supported to use uh, wastewater nutrients to grow uh, produce in the decentralized urban area. Um, so far, we have attracted uh, more than uh, 13 national and international journals and uh, social media to report our uh, project. Why this is uh, so attractive? It is because uh, at, uh, by 2050, um, the global population is uh, slighted to exceed 11.2 billion, and uh, global food production will be double to meet a growing um, planet. Unfortunately, our current production is largely reliant on universal flows of nutrients and water using a linear economy. In addition, phosphorus extraction will peak around 2030. After that time, the global economic development will be constrained not only by oil supply, but also by the availability of phosphorus. Our food production system also contributes prevalent uh, food-related chronic and uh, uh, acute illnesses. Culturally, it creates a disconnect between the rural producers and the urban consumers that exacerbates the social, political, and economic div div divides. Because current system requires long transport times and shelf knives, customers receive fewer nutritional benefits from vegetables than they would if vegetables were produced locally and consumed locally. Shrinkage can also um, occur due to the vegetable losing the water during the long transportation time. Nutritional and water loss in, in turn will cause consumers to eat more calories to obtain the equivalent uh, nutritional benefits that would increase the risk of obesity. Because of the high cost of land, urban areas cannot support conventional agriculture. They may, however, be able to support a vertical controlled environmental agriculture. So our hypothesis of the decentralized system can um, reduce the fertilizer usage. So the uh, commodity can be grown using the high-tech and the high aerial productivity vertical systems. Every commodity could have ability to provide the highest quality produced at affordable price, growing locally to serve local population unique culture demands protected future uncertainties of weather and uh, climate, recovering the value from you under, under utilize the wastewater, energy, and the nutrients assets, and employing the highly skilled, necessary skilled workers to create more sustainable, resilient, and self-reliant communities. Our overarching goal of our project are to accelerate urban food productivity and optimize nutritional contents by conducting convergent uh, research that uncovers the interconnections, interdependencies, and uh, synergies among the urban agriculture systems. 
working with the industry and the government to create technologies, policies, programs, and the market for urban agriculture, for seeding the design, designing, building, and operating sustainable and resilient urban agriculture systems, recruiting and training the first generation of engineers, scientists, designers, and managers, analysts, and uh, entrepreneurs that is as diverse as a community in which they will serve. That full comprehends a scale, complexity, critical importance, disruptive potential on urban and rural societies in transforming agriculture, and is empowered with knowledge, skills, and confidence and the connections necessary to create transformative system while also transforming the global practice. You are more than welcome to tour our completed pilot uh, next year near this area in the uh, Candida um, uh, building area. Thank you. <laughs>